Let's go ahead and add a VFT drive to our system, which would be a G120 drive. So let's go ahead and select drive technology. And on the last option, you see there's frequency converter, Synamics. So it turns on the DT configurator tool. It's an online tool, but we don't have to go look for it online. It gets pulled up automatically from the DI selection tool. Uh, because it's a web page, kind of the graphics are a little different. So I'm going to zoom in. So once I zoom in, you can see complete drives portfolio from Siemens. There is different V-series drives, G-series, S-series, which is the servo. And if we know our application from here, we can select whether it's pumping, moving, processing, or machining, continuous or discontinuous motion, what kind of performance we want, basic, medium, or high, or if we know an actual application like a hydraulic pump or conveyor belts, elevators, escalators, hoist, crushers, extruders, servo presses, milling, drilling, punching, and so forth, right? So most of the options basically for selecting the proper VFD drive is most important is the current. So let's say I know my modern nameplate says it is 10 amp current and we have options for single phase and three phase. I will select three phase, 60 hertz and 480 volts. And then it narrows down my options for the drives and I know I want a G120 drive. So I will select G120 and hit continue. I left everything else blank or default because on the next page we can select other options and see what all different part numbers come up with. Uh, I'll wait for it to load. So once it loads, uh, this is blue, that means it needs attention. So if we want energy recovery, then we have different power models for it. And then if we can say, no, I don't want energy recovery options. I'll just select optional braking resistor. As you can see now, I had the output low as 10 amps and it selected five horsepower for me. I'm going to say, I don't want a filter drive. So because for US, we don't really need a line filter. Uh, and then whether we want push through options, yes or no. And then let's say if I change my mind and I want a 15 amp instead of 10 amp, I'll simply put 15 amp here and you will see it will change from 5 horsepower to 10 horsepower. Now, what kind of communications I want? I want Profi Net and then how many IO? So let's say I want basic inputs and outputs. So here's my options. I will select CU240 or there is also a fail safe version with dash F. So I will select the CU240E dash 2PN. So it's got the Profi Net version and I can go to my accessories. So here is my actual power module and it shows me it's 10 days and 6.22 kg weight. I want a memory card so that I can save all my parameters on the memory card. I also want an optional IOP to intelligent operator panel so I can see what's going on with the drive. There is also a new accessory for the Wi-Fi card so that I can connect that instead of the IOP and use my phone from the web server and commission the drive. There's also a handle version. We also have kits so that you can put the IOP instead of on the drive outside on the cabinet and it comes with a little gasket and the connection cable. We have brake relays, safe brake relays. We have different fuses, external line filters. We did select the braking resistor. Let's say we don't want it, then we can just uncheck it from here. So now what I had is four different components, the power module, the control unit, the IOP, and the memory card. And then if I click on CAD, this is pretty nice. All my documentation is right here. So I can select on documentation and reporting, and then select what all different documents I want, my data sheets, my dimension drawings in the Excel format, 3D PDF, 3D step file, and ePlan. And I can just select all of them. And as you can see, it will show me for my PM240-2, which is the power module for the control unit for the IOP and the SD card. So here are all my four part numbers. I can hit start generation and download everything. And then I can say continue to TI selection tool. And now all my parts will be loaded in my TI selection tool. Thank you.